Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make this chunky crochet bomber cardigan. I'll be making it in a size extra small. You can find the free written pattern on my blog and it ranges from sizes extra small to 3 extra large. You'll need super chunky yarn. I'm using Lion Brand's Woolies Thick and Quick in the colour Stormfront. A 12mm crochet hook. A 9mm crochet hook. Some scissors and a darning needle. We're going to start with the back panel, so to begin, create a slip knot and insert your 12mm crochet hook into the loop. Throughout this pattern, we're always using the 12mm crochet hook unless I tell you otherwise. To begin, chain 30. And just as a note, we're going to be working our panels lengthways throughout this pattern. So the length of your foundation chain will be the length of your cardigan plus ribbing. Once you have 30 chains, we're going to single crochet in the second chain from the hook. To single crochet, insert your hook into the chain. Yarn over and pull up a loop. You should have two loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through two. Single crochet in each chain until the end of the row. You should have 29 stitches in total. When you're at the end of the row, turn your work. To start row 2, chain 1. Throughout this pattern, the turning chain of chain 1 does not count as a stitch. We're going to front loop single crochet into the first stitch. So remember that the front loop is the loop closest towards you. We're going to chain 1, skip 1 stitch, and then front loop single crochet into the next stitch. And then we're going to chain 1, skip 1 stitch. We're going to repeat the pattern of front loop single crochet into the next stitch, chain 1, skip 1 stitch until the last stitch of the row. We're going to place a normal single crochet into the last stitch of the row. At the end of the row, turn. To start row 3, we're going to chain 1. Front loop single crochet into the first stitch. And then we're going to back loop single crochet into the chain. Remember that the back loop is the loop furthest away from you. Alternate between front loop single crochet and back loop single crochet until you reach the last stitch of the row. And then we're going to single crochet in the last stitch of the row. At the end of row 3, turn your work. We're going to repeat rows 2 and 3 until your back panel measures approximately 46 centimeters or 18 inches wide. Personally, I crocheted until row 23. Once your back panel meets the required width, fasten off. And this is what the finished back panel should look like. You now have two options for your front panels. You can either make your front panels with pockets or without pockets. The version without pockets is easier. Repeat the exact same steps as the back panel until your front panel measures 18 centimeters or seven inches wide. And make sure you make two front panels. If you'd like to make the front panel with pockets, 
You're going to repeat the back panel steps until your front panel measures 15 centimeters or 6 inches wide. Make sure that your last row is a repeat of row 3. To start pocket row 1, chain 1. Front loop single crochet into the first stitch. Chain 1, skip 1 stitch and front loop single crochet into the next stitch. Repeat chain 1, skip 1 stitch, front loop single crochet into the next stitch until you have 12 stitches left in the row. And then you're going to chain 1, skip 1 stitch and then place a normal single crochet into the next stitch. We're then going to chain 7 and this creates the pocket hole. Skip 7 stitches and then single crochet into the next stitch. Single crochet in the last 2 stitches of the row. At the end of the row, turn your work. To start pocket row 2, chain 1. We're going to front loop single crochet into the first stitch. Back loop single crochet into the next stitch and then front loop single crochet into the next stitch. When you reach the chain 7, we're going to front loop single crochet in each chain. Remember the front loop is the loop closest towards you. Place one front loop single crochet in each chain. We're now going to front loop single crochet into the next single crochet. And then back loop single crochet into the chain. We're now going to repeat front loop single crochet, back loop single crochet until the last stitch of the row. Single crochet into the last stitch of the row. Fasten off. If you're making front panels with pockets, they're not identical. So to start your second front panel, you're going to repeat the back panel instructions until your front panel measures 15 centimeters or six inches wide. Make sure you have the same number of rows as the first front panel before the pocket rows. To start pocket row one for the second front panel, chain one, single crochet into the first three stitches. Chain 7 and then skip 7 stitches. Single crochet into the next stitch. Chain 1, skip 1 stitch. Repeat front loop single crochet into the next stitch. Chain 1, skip 1 stitch until the last stitch of the row. Single crochet into the last stitch of the row. Turn your work. To start pocket row 2, chain 1. Front loop single crochet into the first stitch. Repeat the pattern of back loop single crochet, front loop single crochet until you reach the chain 7. Once you reach the chain 7, place one front loop single crochet in each chain. Front loop single crochet into the next single crochet and then back loop single crochet. Single crochet into the last stitch. Fasten up. And there you have your two front panels with pocket holes. I'm now going to show you how to crochet the pockets onto the front panels. So I'm working on the second front panel, the one we just finished crocheting, and I'm going to flip it so the wrong side is facing me. 
When you look at the pocket hole, there'll be a ridge running along the final row. These are the back loops that we didn't crochet into. We're going to insert our crochet hook into the front loop one stitch to the right of the chain 7 gap. Secure your yarn and pull up a loop. To begin row 1, chain 1. We're going to half double crochet into the first front loop. To half double crochet, yarn over and insert your crochet hook into the loop. Yarn over and pull up a loop. Yarn over and pull through all three loops. Place one front loop half double crochet into each of the front loops. In total you should have 9 stitches in the row. Make sure to crochet in the last front loop, one stitch to the left of the chain 7 gap. At the end of the row, turn your work. To start row 2, chain 1. Half double crochet in each stitch until the end of the row. At the end of the row, turn. Repeat row 2 until row 7 or your pocket's the desired length. Just make sure that the height of your pocket doesn't extend past the width of the front panel. Once you're satisfied with the size of your pocket, fasten off. We're going to whip stitch around the edge of the pocket. To make your pockets invisible, when whip stitching the pocket to the front panel, make sure you insert your darning needle through the front and the back of the pocket, but only pick up the stitches on the wrong side of the front panel. Don't insert your needle into the front of the panel, or the stitches will be visible from the front. And there's your invisible pocket. Repeat these steps for your second front pocket. To start your sleeves, create a slip knot. Insert your 12mm crochet hook into the loop. Chain 20. Once you have 20 chains, you're going to slip stitch into the first chain to form a ring. Make sure that none of your chains are twisted. To start round 1, chain 1. We're going to half double crochet in each chain in the round. At the end of the round, you should have 20 stitches. Slip stitch to join and turn. To start round 2, chain 1. Half double crochet in each stitch in the round. Slip stitch to join and turn. 
You're going to repeat round 2 until your sleeve measures 33 centimeters or 13 inches long. You can add or remove rounds to make your sleeves longer or shorter. Once your sleeve is the required length, we're now going to decrease the sleeve to create the balloon shape. To start decrease round 1, chain 1. We're going to half double crochet 2 together. To half double crochet 2 together, yarn over. Insert your crochet hook into the first stitch. Yarn over and pull up a loop. You should have 3 loops on your hook. Insert your crochet hook into the next stitch. Yarn over and pull up a loop. Yarn over and pull through all 4 loops on your hook. Half double crochet into the next stitch. Half double crochet 2 together until the end of the round. If you have one stitch left over, place a half double crochet in the last stitch. Slip stitch to join. At the end of the round, you should have 11 stitches. We're now going to remove the 12mm crochet hook and replace it with the 9mm crochet hook. We're going to use the 9mm crochet hook to crochet the ribbing. To start ribbing row 1, chain 2, and this doesn't count as a stitch. We're going to double crochet into the first stitch. So yarn over, insert your hook into the stitch. Yarn over and pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Double crochet in each stitch until the end of the round. Slip stitch to join. To start ribbing round two, chain two. We're going to front post double crochet around the first stitch. Yarn over and insert your crochet hook from front to back so the post is in front of your hook. Yarn over and pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. And then we're going to back post double crochet. So yarn over, insert your hook from back to front around the post of the stitch. You're going to yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. And we're going to alternate between front post double crochet and back post double crochet until we're at the end of the round. At the end of the round, slip stitch to join and fasten off. You'll finish your first sleeve. Repeat these steps for your second sleeve. So now we're going to sew the cardigan together. The right side of your back panel should be facing up. Line up the front panel so that the edge closest to the pocket hole is lined up to the edge of the back panel. Place the front panel on top of the back panel with the wrong side facing up. The right side of the front panel and the back panel should be touching each other on the inside of the cardigan. We're going to rotate our body panels around and sew along the edge of the shoulder seams. Thread a length of yarn with the tapestry needle and whip stitch the front panels to the back panel. Here's the finished shoulder seam. Sew the other front panel to the back panel. Once you've sewn the shoulders together, we're going to sew up the sides of the body. I like to line my sleeve up with the edge of the cardigan and use a stitch marker to mark the bottom of the sleeve. Whip stitch from the bottom of the hem up until the stitch marker. When you sew up the sides, make sure to leave a gap large enough for the sleeves at the top. Repeat this for the other side. Once you've finished sewing the sides of the cardigan, we're going to whip stitch the sleeves to the body. You can use a stitch marker to hold your sleeve in place. Make sure your stitches are nice and neat and repeat for the second sleeve. Once you've sewn the cardigan together, turn it inside out so the right side is facing you. Insert the 9mm crochet hook into the corner of the left panel. Secure your yarn and pull up a loop. 
We're now going to crochet the hemline ribbing. To start row 1, chain 2, and this doesn't count as a stitch. We're going to double crochet evenly along the hem of the cardigan. Make sure that your stitches and tension are nice and even. Too many stitches will make the hemline ruffle, and too few stitches will make the hemline pucker. Your last double crochet should be in the corner of the other front panel. At the end of the row, turn your work. We're going to start row 2 by chaining 2. Double crochet into the first stitch. Alternate between front post double crochet and back post double crochet until you reach the last stitch of the row. Double crochet into the last stitch of the row. Turn your work and for row 3, repeat row 2. At the end of row 3, double crochet into the last stitch. Don't turn your work, but now we're going to rotate the cardigan 45 degrees. To start neckline ribbing row 1, chain 2, and then double crochet evenly along the edge of the neckline. Crochet along the edge of the front panel, along the back of the neck, and down the other front panel. Place your last double crochet in the corner of the other front panel. Turn your work. And you're going to repeat rows 2 and 3 exactly the same as the hemline ribbing. So chain 2, double crochet in the first stitch. Alternate between front post double crochet and back post double crochet until the last stitch. Double crochet into the last stitch and turn. At the end of row 3, fasten off. Weave in all of your ends. You've finished your chunky crochet bomber cardigan. 